RCF Foam Fighters. I'm here with Chris, Colby, and Jake, and we're proud to review the Ares P51D Mustang 350. And before we show you the plane, here are some of the specs about it. Alright, so here's the P51. It's got a great scale look to it with a little passenger in there. It's just got a good look, so let's talk about the specs. These are the two biggest parts in the instruction manual. They tell you how to install the propeller and the nose cone. And then right here, you have the wing. There's two servos in here, and there's the two wires come into a Y. You connect that to the aileron slot on the receiver. Then you have the two landing gear, and those are also removable. Um, and then after that, the servos connected pretty well to the back stabilizers. Um, it was really easy to connect the clevis to the control horn. And then after that, all you had to do was just uh, put these two screws in the hold in this back stabilizer right here. Yeah, and so it also comes with a um, small little 600 milliamp um, lipo battery. So you can plug in there with the charger that's also included with it. And it also comes with an Aries 2.4 gigahertz six channel controller, which is nice. I mean, we'll be able to use that really well with um, the slide batteries. All right, so we're out here in the park with the uh, P51D Mustang. And we got a little bit of a breeze today. Every once in a while, we get like a nine mile an hour gust. Uh, but I'll take it up first and then see how it works and maybe trim down some things. And then I'll buddy link with, um, with some of the students. The one thing that we did do is we did take out the their transmitter because we have a DX5 and I can't train with um, the transmitter that they have. So we kind of, uh, we figured out that with the uh, high rates on, with the DX5, if you guys have a DX5, the high rates on, it'll move and throw the exact same as the stock settings, and if you have it on low, obviously it'll, it moves a lot less. So um, I'm gonna start with the low settings and see where that takes me. Um, it definitely needs uh, definitely needs some up trim on the um, elevator. I think that it, if I brought it in, I think it's a little bit too uh, too much for a beginner plane for entry pilots. So it's very quiet. Pretty smooth. I'm just flying in circles right now. Just getting it dialed in. can't roll it. I mean, if I do roll it, it'll be a really slow roll. And for the sake of the plane and trying to let the other kids fly, I'm not going to try it. I think, um, we'll, uh, we'll do a, uh, vertical test here, see how much power we got. Got a lot of power. Now 
Now, if you get a more experienced pilot to show you guys, you know, knife edges and all that kind of stuff, it'd be this thing can probably do it all. Just a little guy. It's pretty cool. Need a glide test, pretty much. That's a glide test without any. This is with it, without any motor. Letting the wind kind of take me around. That's pretty smooth. better off the off the throw. Oh the slow fire is way better. Oh you'll find this in there too. Are you ready? It's so small. I know. Yeah. Set, go. It's all you. Oh, I don't have any problem. You don't have to give it much. Do you see where it is? It's so small. And make sure you get them flying too. I think it's cranking to the right and this is bring it down a little bit. Going crazy. Well, turn it off. Turn off the throttle a little bit. And let it come down. It was like off. Oh. Awesome. Ready? Try it again. Uh, give your put more um, left trim on it. Okay. I'll give it to you as we're up a little bit higher. I'll go away. Okay. There you go. Now what's doing? I know. I like it. fast. That's pretty rough. <laughs> Alright, so um, in terms of the flying, um, I think this is uh, too advanced for, for our kiddos. And so if you're a beginner pilot, um, I, I wouldn't recommend this for a beginner pilot. If you're just getting into the hobby, I, I wouldn't do this. Um, maybe with the slow flyer prop, we might be able to actually reduce some of the speed and get you guys to um, fly pretty comfortably. I mean, even if even with the Spectrum on high, it has the same throw rates as the stock setup, and I, it's still really hard to, to roll it pretty quick, which is good. Um, but yeah, it's, it's pretty fast. And with the color scheme, I mean, it's almost identical on both the top and the bottom, and usually what I was looking for was the nose, because the nose is yellow. Um, but with our kids, and our, you know, we're pretty used to the Apprentice, and um, the Apprentice flies, you know, uh, with that safe technology, and it, it flies really smooth. Um, you know, and with our planes, we'll dial our controls down to where um, it, it won't, you know, it won't, it won't turn very much. So even with Delta style planes, it's still hard for us. So when you throw in an aileron with a rudder and um, in the mix, and for these guys, I, I think it's a little. A little, uh, little too much. However, if you're an intermediate or if you're a beginner flyer that's flown a bunch of style planes a little bit bigger than this with shoulder uh, bearing planes and you want to try to get into these fixed wings underneath uh, a little more uh, aerobatic type of planes, then this would definitely be the step up. It's nice and small so you don't need a whole lot of area to fly it in because I know a lot of park zone planes and a lot of other planes that are like this are bigger than this um, significantly. So this little guy is, is actually pretty cool. Um, with that landing you saw, I took a pretty rough beating with it. Um, it is a little bit uh, nose heavy, so we'll have to try to um, bring back the uh, elevators. Uh, but for the most part, uh, it held up its own. It's pretty strong. This EPP or, or whatever type of foam this is, it's, it's really strong. So 
Um, you can't really go wrong with it. Other than that, I'd like to thank the review team. I'd like to thank Hobbytown USA for sponsoring this episode and getting us this P51 to get out to you guys. Um, and uh, thanks for watching.